Hey guys, what is up? This is a video looking up how to set up team telemetry on for F124. The new method that most people are using is Radmin VPN. So you go down, I'll put the link in the description, you go down and you install Radmin VPN, and you need to create a network to connect with uh, the driver. So what you would do, you say create network, you put the network name, you put the password, confirm password, you create it, and then the driver would say join network. They would join your network name and they would join the password, as you can see, I have drivers connected here. And it's important to know that these uh, IP addresses, these are the VPN IP address. These are not your IP address. It's, it's only Radman's VPN uh, IP address. Another thing that you may have to do is uh, Windows Defender or maybe blocking uh, information that the driver would be sending to your PC. So you need to do is you need to go to Windows Defender Firewall with Advanced Security, do an inbound rule, new rule, it's a port rule, uh, UDP port, it's 20777. Uh, next, uh, allow this connection, uh, put it in name, you put F124, whatever you want, finish. And now you have that rule here. You can also try it, you can also disable uh, Windows Defender or the firewall temporarily to see if you're having any issues. So now let's go and look inside the game and see what settings you need to have the driver set up. So now we're in the telemetry settings inside the game. So you want UDP telemetry on, broadcast mode off. The UDP IP address, this is all the driver settings. You want this to be the uh, Radmin VPN right here that the engineer has. So the engineer will give uh, this VPN, or sorry, this IP for the VPN, UD port 2077, uh, that's that what's set up in telemetry. UDP send rate, so this is how many times per second uh, data is being sent. I like this on 10, especially if you're engineering someone on a different continent. If you put this like on 60, the data will get clogged and they'll get you'll get so much delay or no data will come through at all in team telemetry. And then you could be on UDP format 2024. Your telemetry, this is whether like other people can see your telemetry and your setup. You usually keep, keep, keep this unrestricted. Then show player names. Uh, this can be on. There's no reason that it doesn't need to be on. So now let's go look at team telemetry. So here we go. Now this is into team telemetry. So when you install, you have this window right here. You want to press tab window. That's going to get all these uh, things open into one window. So you want to press that. And then right now I just have a the game running locally and a race open. So you can also do that for yourself. If you want to engineer yourself. Um, you can use the same settings as we showed before. So there's a lot of information here, but you don't want to get overwhelmed by the information and lose track of what's going on. So you have weather up here. We're under the race strategy tab. We have weather up here. I usually don't look at that. I look at the weather over here. So I have a dry to wet to very wet race uh, set up in the game. So anything under 10 to 20% is not raining uh, in terms of this rain percentage. When we get into that 30, 40%, it's starting to rain. And then 80% is usually inter rain. And then 90% is wet rain. Now it's important to note as what I believe is that this is not track wetness, this is rate of rain. So the rain can get up to 90%, but you, you could still be on an inter track. So the wetness could still be low. So that's just something to keep note that just because you can get to 90 to 100% doesn't mean it's, it's immediately for wets. Right here, this is uh, important to know when to cross over. So this is saying it's showing your delta to what your current tire is on. So right here we're on 0% uh, new mediums. It's showing that softs are four tenths faster. Hards are six tenths slower, and then inters and wets are nine seconds slower on a pro lap basis. As it gets wetter, these numbers will start to come down for the inters, uh, you know, as well as the wets. It's important to know that you're, you're, it's, the delta is always to the tire you are on now. So you could be on used mediums, and inters could be faster, but then softs could be even faster, new softs. So it's important to keep that in mind. Again, here it'll give you some prediction of when the, ra the rain's going to come. Uh, this also will change. These graphs will change if, uh, especially if the weather is only set to approximate. Radio messages, I usually do not look at that. Track map, it'll show a bunch of dots on the track. I don't look at that. Quality uh, timing tables, um, in quality, it's it's decent. Um, it'll show you kind of what sectors are fastest. Uh, you can look at that here. Here we go, timing table. This is good. You can see what driver's last lap was. Uh, and you can see the gap to the cars in front. Uh, and you can see that they're, they're, they're most recent sector times, but I like the rival screen a bit better. 
vehicle status, a lot more information here. Engine wear, you don't look at that. Some of these things I really don't look at. Tire wear, it'll tell you if you're doing a long stint. Usually you should have tire wear before you start engineering. Uh, but I guess just to confirm that you're on the tire wear that you think it's going to be uh, after several laps, a graph will populate here. Engine temps. I like to look at engine temps. Uh, it, if you start getting over 135, you'll see you'll have a graph up here. You'll see a reduction in power. It's only important to tell the driver this if you think they can cool the engine by getting out of the dirty air and not lose time or places. You don't have to, you don't have to tell them if it's like, if it, if it keeps overheating and there's nothing they can do about it. Only give encouraging information usually to the driver. Here it'll show you tire wear. Um, it'll show you, uh, you know, tire temps. You could, if you see something overheating, you could, you could let the driver know if you think they can fix it um, with their driving style. And it'll show front wing uh, if there's any side pod damage or anything. Bible, I like to be on this screen a lot. If other drivers have their telemetry on, you will be able to see their ERS values and their tire wear. Um, you will always be able to see everyone's damage level. So it's important to know, tell the driver if there's a driver in front, if there's a little bit of damage, that they could be a bit slower in the corners and faster in the straights. Uh, penalties, warnings, uh, corner cut warnings. So the penalties will be in seconds. Uh, warning sets like if you touch someone in the game, things to give you a warning and then corner cut warnings. That's what you want to keep track of um, if a driver in front is on multiple warnings or if your driver is on multiple warnings to be careful of the uh, penalties ahead of you. And you can see that, like you can see many cars in front of you if the driver has penalties or the driver can only see like three cars in front. Uh, what tire people are on, last lap, lap, best lap time. You get all the information here that you want except um, gap. So I guess if you're in a pit stop, if you're undercutting or overcutting, you want to see the gap to the car, to the leading car, that's when you want to go to this tab. But generally, I like to stay on this tab, as well as focusing on what the driver is doing, as well as watching any Twitch streams or any other individual driver streams where you could be getting ERS values of how much energy they have and using that to deploy to your advantage. Setup, you could get, a, I think you can get other driver setups if they have their telemetry turned to public. Career, never look at this. Stats, I think, yeah, I guess for quality and top speed, it could be good. Um, you'll get the rain information again. Race prep. So then race prep, I, I never look at this. Here they're actually calling a track wetness. That's different. These values are the same as the rain, but uh, a bit of a, like, track wetness and rain percentage are different. Uh, so you, you just got to be aware of that, of what it's actually telling you in telemetry. So there's a lot of information here. So I would say there's six things that I like to look at. One is ERS levels. That's probably the most important if the driver has that on. Two is damage. Uh, does your driver have damage? Do the drivers around them have damage? Uh, three is track limits warnings. How close are other, are other drivers racking up lots of warnings? Or is your driver racking up lots of warnings? Uh, four, it's tire wear. You can see um, how your driver's tires are doing and how it's compared to other drivers. Uh, five, I would say, is engine overheating. So it's at this tab, is the engine getting too hot? And if it is, you can move out of the way. And then the final thing is weather. Weather's off. That was the sixth thing. Uh, weather, how is the rain coming? Um, and then looking at these gaps to different uh, tires, tires, as well as how the rain is going to continue throughout the race. So hopefully this is a good intro guide of uh, how to set it up and then what things you want to be looking at in Team Telemetry. Thank you so much for watching. See ya. Bye.